Hi, I'm Darren from Geosoft. Within Voxy, the starting model is an important constraint in both forward modelling and inversion. In this video, we will look at what the starting model constraint means, and in doing so, we will look at the various ways in which to define a starting model in Voxy. For today's video, we have already created a new gravity Voxy from a polygon and have added data points to it. As a result, in the Voxy Viewer, we will now be able to view the Area of Interest Polygon, the Inversion Mesh, the Digital Elevation Model, and the Data Locations. Constraints in Voxy are set and applied using the Constraints item within the Voxy Manager. Constraints will only become active once we have added data to our Voxy session. The first item we see in the list of constraints is the starting model. If we wanted to use Voxy for forward modelling, we would need to supply a starting model of some form here. When running an inversion in Voxy, the starting model is the model with which the inversion process begins. A good starting model will enable an inversion to reach an optimal result faster. When we right click the starting model constraint we get three options, one to modify and two options to export. For now we will focus upon the modify option. When we select modify we get three options by which to specify our starting model. The default option is in effect a no starting model option. If we choose this option all of the voxel elements will be set to zero. The constant option allows us to set all voxel elements to a single non-zero value. The value we set here must be in the units of the physical property that we are modelling. For example, if we wanted to use forward modelling in Voxy to calculate the terrain effect of this model for a given density, we can enter that density here. If we had a pre-existing voxel model that coincides with the area of interest, we could use that voxel as a starting model by loading it here. If that voxel has a different dimension to the inversion mesh, the voxel will be regridded to the mesh dimensions and extrapolated to the extents of the mesh padding. Once we have set the starting model constraint, the item will be checked and highlighted in bold within the list of constraints to denote it as active. Finally, the export options allow us to export a starting model with or without the padding cells. For example, if we had previously created a starting model using a constant value, we could export this as a standalone voxel to use in other voxy sessions. In this video you've seen what the starting model constraint is and how to apply one prior to forward modelling or inversion in Voxy. Thanks for watching and please visit our website geosoft.com for more videos and other Voxy resources.